Today's video, we're going to be taking a look at TJ versus Kobo in the MCS um, Bat and Bowl. And we're going to be taking a look specifically at how TJ was able to really uh, significantly limit Kobo's offense. It's going to be a really good video teaching how to stop trips tied in. Super fired up to learn on this one. So real quick, right out of the gate, uh, uh, Kobo is going to be in this trips. So you've got three receivers over here to the right. And then you have a nub tight end in the back. Now, this formation has been meta for a long time. It's one of the best formations every single year. We have a full ebook on this offense. If you guys want to check it out on the Patreon, um, this is one of the best offenses in the game. Kobo actually won a belt with this offense this year, and he's doing something a little bit different in this game against TJ. He is going to be running this out of the running gun playbook. This is going to allow him to have a speed option with his quarterback, which is going to allow for some creativity uh, down there in the red zone. A couple other plays in the trip side in uh, in the running gun playbook that you will not find elsewhere. Now, let's talk automatically here about TJ's defense. And this is basically a DB fire two look. So we're going to get a blitz, 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 this guy and this guy. This is the main uh, blitzing strategy that you're going to see. Okay. You're not going to see as much A-gap this game. You're going to see a lot more DB fire too. So that's automatically something we need to point out. That when you're playing trip side M, a, D, a send five out of DB fire two might be more effective than the A-gap out of dollar. Okay? Uh, now, the other thing that we're going to notice real quick is that the user is right here. Uh, typically going to be uh, one of these two guys right here. And then basically standard DB fire two, he's actually going to take this corner that was pressed up here and he's going to move him back. And then from there, we'll take a look at kind of the first play. Typically in the first play, it gives you a really good glimpse into what both uh, people want to do, both offensively and defensively. So right here, you see he's going to use her here and automatically we get a send five uh, or at least a send four. Okay. So he's sending four people. Now, uh, again, this is based out of a DB fire two. So this guy's going to be in a cloud. This guy's going to be in a half. And then what we get here is a cross man on the middle trips receiver. So this is pretty common way to defend trips tight end. And the main reason why is because the way this formation works, this defender cannot guard the snap throw streak in this throwing lane. So what you're going to get is you're going to get a man to man on this, on this guy right here. And then the rest of the adjustments will go over. So we get a purple. Um, it looks like this is a man up. So he backs him off, bands him up on the solo receiver. Historically, one of the best ways to counter trips tight end is to play some type of man coverage as a base. But we have a little cloud out, or a purple out here. We have man here, man here. Looks like this is man to man right here as well. And then we just have a cloud over here on the left side. Now, Kobo hits the really the one void of this defense with this route combination. And this was, I felt like, his best route combination. So we have a little clear out streak. We have this little crosser. Now this crosser is really going to meant to be thrown kind of right in the middle pocket of the field. And then we have a little check down. So again, we get the cross man on him. We get a man up here. We get a man up here. This purple, uh, I don't know what the purpose of the purple is, probably for like a tight end cut drag or something. And then this is one of Kobo's favorite routes. If you're a good trip side end player, this two man game over here is very, very important. We have a tight end corner and we have a running back clear out streak. So. This half is going to have to take the running back streak. This cloud does not get enough depth. It's going to leave this window over here to the left side to be able to throw the uh, tight end corner route. So you see here, you see that's open, throws it, easy read. And off the gate, you're like, okay, Kobo's looking pretty good as far as, uh, as, far as offense. Okay, so next down, first and 10. Again, this first drive, obviously a little bit more of a fill-out drive. We're going to get play action automatically here. We can tell, though, we're sitting five. And then now we're going to get what's known as kind of the trips tight end cross man D. So we get a man-to-man -man on this back side over here on the left. We get a cross man here. And then it looks like we're going to get a man up on basically just man-to-man -man across the board. And it looks appears like this guy is on some type of cloud flat. So uh, the, again, this is DB fire two. Kobo snaps the ball relatively quickly here, but basically we get a send five. We get a man on the triangle receiver. Then you're gonna see here, this guy manned up here, this guy manned up here. And again, he's backing this guy off every single time. This guy is manned up on the tight end, trying to cut the drag underneath. And then over here, we just have a cloud. The purpose of that cloud flat on the left is probably just to help bracket that tight end if he goes to the corner so that that man up can actually take the route. So that's the second um, setup that you see 
And really good defense. Really, really good defense. Kobo's actually going for a bomb there, trying to hit the post over the top. And that's going to bring up a second and 10. So again, and you see automatically, this guy's backing up pretty much every single time, okay? You want to identify what are the key tells or what are the key consistencies. One of the key consistencies, this guy right here is backing up every single time, pretty much. Every single time. Another thing is we're using this left linebacker, which is different than most dollar defenses this year. Most dollar defenses want to use her right here. So what we're doing defensively is we're sending DB fire so we can press these slots. And then we're also usering on the running back side pretty much every time. Now, a quick little side note that I didn't want to re uh, reference. I want to reference the Madden Bowl. Um, really not even just the Madden Bowl, but specifically the Madden Bowl from Madden 22. This was pretty much, or not Madden 22, Madden 23. This right here was pretty much the meta trips defense in Madden 23 at the Madden Bowl. So kind of interesting that it's kind of come full circle again. So here we get a little bit of a different coverage, but... Key, one of the keys is this defender is in man-to-man -man on triangle. We're not letting him run up the seam on that seam streak. Now we get a cloud over here. We get a half, and it looks, it appears like we're going to get more of a roll coverage over here, and we're going to drop out of this and play kind of more basic zone shell. Uh, however, it does look like, and I messed up on this, this guy's in man-to-man -man here. This guy's in man-to-man -man here. And then let's take a look at how this plays out. It appears we send four or we send three. So this little assignment right here is something TJ likes to do a lot. It's a bluff blitz. You have a purple over here to the right. And then I'm not 100% sure what this is. I think what TJ is actually doing is he's doing the inside quarter defense that we have on the channel where he this guy is in the inside quarter and TJ has his match coverage set to on. And then this guy is probably also in an outside quarter. They will match these two receivers every single time and play them pretty well. So it basically eliminates them. So you really got to key in over here. And then the cross man eliminates triangles. So let me back this up. This actually is very informative. Hopefully you're seeing this. So, okay, you've got to turn your match on for this to work. It has to be on, okay? But what we get is a quarter, a quarter. Now this guy... As you see, he starts here. He's manually backing him up. The purpose of that is so that this guy does not attempt a, uh, a press on, on that guy right there. Okay? So we have a quarter. We have a quarter. We have a half, a cloud, this guy typically blitzing. And then from there, pretty much cross man here. This guy might be on a curl flat. The purpose of that curl flat is to defend any underneath route because what happens is when this guy runs around underneath five yards, like a little underneath drag or a little underneath zig route, you'll see this defender kind of freeze. See, see how he freezes there and then he's late getting down here? That's the purpose of this curl flat defender because if you throw this, it's right into a curl flat and then the man coverage coming down. What this does is effectively eliminate this right side if Kobo decides to stay in trips and TJ is essentially going to use her this three over two side. So it's a great way to defend trip side in, especially if they're not motion snapping. So as you see, really good basic defense. And you see, I mean, Kobo's having trouble moving the ball. Nothing's really open off the snap. And uh, this is working really well for TJ so far. Now here, uh, it appears like he's in a different defense, but he might be in the same one. I'm not sure. Let's see, there's the back off on that side. Now Kobo does a great little checkmate. So when someone's running this inside quarter defense where they're using the match principles, the easiest way to counter that is to motion a receiver across. What that does is these guys will no longer match properly anymore, okay? They basically become zone, uh, for lack of a better word here. So another thing Kobo's trying to do is he's trying to hit this, uh, take advantage of the fact that we got cover two here on the left. Now, uh, TJ does something actually really smart with the motion. So because he lets, because Kobo lets him set here, it kind of gives away a little bit of what he wants to do. So what TJ does, he mans this guy up here with the linebacker. He switches his user now to the weak side of the formation. Okay. We're sending five. And then let's see what else we have. I think in a half here, we have a third here, an outside third here and a cloud here, and then TJ just is able to lurk this underneath. And this is a, a really hard throw. We're going to have to basically check it down. This is the only opening on the play. So far, pretty good defense from TJ. 
Another hopeful common theme you're seeing that TJ is consistently doing against Kobo, you see, um, you know, see just kind of some of the discomfort here, but he's sending five. He's sending four uh, a lot. So you see another one. Send five. Uh, here we're going to get, see, here's your quarter defense. Man up, half, cloud, and then user is going to be here and basically lurk from here back down to here. Good defense, able to get another. Now we're on a third and 23. So basically the, the thing that Kobo is going to have to do to counter what TJ is doing is he's going to have to motion over a lot more than he wants. So you see here, he's going to go with the motion over setup. Now we're bringing triangle across. So now TJ can't run that quarter defense. It just does not match properly. So now what does he do when he does that? We're still sending five out of fire. He switches, and so now he's lurking here. Now, right here, Kobo kind of checkmates, um, or TJ kind of check, not checkmates, but like he, 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 last time he manned this guy up on triangle, right? This time he's going to man him up onto the tight end, probably anticipating either a tight end deep corner or a tight end deep post paired with some type of streak. So, in actuality, we also see here. Uh, and, and again, this is how you can tell the quarter. It's the quarter stuff. Watch this. Watch this player. See how he's kind of in a quarter, right? He's in a quarter. This guy's in a quarter. We're sending everybody here. We man up here, and then basically we just have cloud, um, cloud, and a and a uh, third or a half. It looks more like almost two cloud flats right there. I don't know if he got quick hiked, but again, running back was open. But you, these are hard reads to make when you're getting screamed at every play you know and tj is sending five quite a bit so that's kind of a couple keys as far as uh as far as defending trips uh now we're going to go into uh kobo's next drive which i think it's back here maybe i got a little too far up let's go back a little bit more all right so tj is able to get seven right there and now kobo's back on offense all right so now what you're hopefully noticing is this motion. He's going to start motioning. The purpose of the motion, these quarters are now no longer able to match properly. Okay. So here we get a motion inside zone. Good run. Get out of there. And gets a nice, gets a nice gainer on uh, first down. All right. So now we've got uh, PA cross. Uh, let's see what he does here. This should be kind of that first setup he went to. Yeah. Okay, once again, this is cross manned here. We're going to send one, two, three. This time we bail. Everybody bails out. And we, we get a man up on the running back. And, again, this is just a good read by Kobo, but we get a half. We get a man up here. This guy's manned up here. Man up on triangle. This is that quarter, but he's matching this. This is that quarter, but he's matching this guy. And... Uh, yeah, only thing TJ has to use her is really that corner route, and he's just a step behind. But you should see a lot more motion. Uh, like if if this is the main thing, as you look at this defense, the user has to has to really take this away over here. Well, really, if you think about the way TJ's playing defense, I honestly feel like I don't know if he's hesitant as a user player or what, and he it's going to get better as this game goes on, but. If he just takes that tight end, nothing's open. Here we get a draw. And, uh, yeah, I mean, and again, this is one of the benefits to sending a lot of pressure. This is one of the benefits. Hard to run the ball. So you see here again. Why is he back? Okay, this is another little underrated tip. So when he mans this guy up to triangle, okay, at that point when you do the individual back off stuff, He's actually individually backing this guy off. That just will make it so that he'll play that man coverage a little better. Okay? But you do see users here. User should be down here. He's going to get down here. Yep. This guy is backed off slightly. So there's really no threat of a gap pressure. The only pressure threat that we're seeing is really this. But as we're seeing in the video, this is plenty of pressure. Here we're going to get a send three. This is a bluff blitz. Again, purple. This is the quarter. Uh, forget my alarm there. Sorry about that. Uh, but anyway, this is a quarter. This is a quarter, right? As you see, 
and, and I mean, look at all these defenders. You have one, two, three, four, five. You have five over three. And then over here, um, we're going to just kind of get, again, this is like his kind of passive rush, maybe trying to get him to roll over here. The main purpose of this is so that this is no longer a threat and there's really nothing on the right side that he can have. So we get a flat on all TJ has to use is right here. All he has to use is that running back. Now we get a scramble from Kobo and good decision from him. And now it's going to bring up a third and four. Now I'm sure Kobo has seen this defense before, but he does look very uncomfortable against this specific defense. Um, and now he's going to go to PA slot corner with this sharp cutting post. And this is basically on a uh, smash return at a bunch. Or, uh, I mean, this is a pretty standard combo here. But let's take a look at the coverage from TJ. It is a little different this time. Okay, so uh, we get a send three. Now what we get here is this defender goes into a third, and I'm not sure what this is. I think this is either a man up, but I'm pretty sure it's an inside quarter. So we get an in, we get a, a third, and it can't be an inside quarter. I don't know what this zone is. This might be a half. Again, he might be late getting his adjustments off. It might be a man up, it might be a half, but the bottom line, and, and I actually think this is a man up. I don't know, it's hard to tell. But the biggest thing here is um, this is a great little quick hitter because this quarter cannot play the underneath stuff. So this is why you should see Kobo go more to these little quick hitters to the circle receiver. Now granted, the user here basically has to choose, am I gonna guard this? Or am I going to guard this? And he kind of does guards neither. Uh, he kind of midpoints. And um, late in the play, you have you have that guy open. Got a KO, though. Now, again, that's how we know it's a quarter zone uh, because of the, the fact that that KO is lighting up. So likely that Kobo has mid zone on, or uh, TJ has mid zone on those guys. Fourth and four, money's money down here. Let's see what TJ runs. He kind of gets glitched. Kobo gets him in a bad defense, but we're still sitting five. Now he, what does Kobo do? And I gotta have it down. He brings this guy in motion. So TJ's defense now is really just basic DB fire, and he can't get there. Yeah, it's just basic DB fire. I think this was a third. He was trying to get this guy in a third. Um, yeah, he just, yeah, just not good enough. Not not good enough defensively. Um, tried to check into something, and it didn't end up working out for him. All right. Next play, this cross underplay. Uh, you see Kobo run a lot as well. Okay, so again, every time. if if It's pretty much automatic. If Kobo stays in the trips, this is the coverage shell. And then over here, yeah, this is definitely a man up. We get cross man here, here, and then we have this cloud. The purpose of that cloud, that's actually a, probably a third, but the purpose of that zone is just to bracket the, the tight end corner. Cross under. Again, DB fire to look. This guy's backed off. Okay, we, we're going to send five. And pretty much every time he sends five, it looks really tough. Here we get a, looks like a third. Uh, and again, that doesn't look, eh, I don't know what that is. It almost looks like a deep half, the way he kind of pinches in, but I think it's an outside third. So basically, again, adjustments wise, we get a, we get a, uh, um, we get a hard flat, we get a third. So where does the user have to go? He's got to be right here. On the left side, we're getting a little more aggressive. So we're going to have a hard flat, a vert hook. And a half. And again, that's just that's just TJ getting a little more aggressive. Because because of where we're at on the field. Because of where we're at on the field. Limited amount of space for Kobo. So some of those deep hitters are harder to hit uh, in this position right here. So we're trying basically again th thought process. Let's use let's use the, the end zone as an extra defender. Now, the rules are, are, are actually still, you see here, this is an interesting defense, but basically what TJ does now is he goes to a backed off cloud flat and he basically says, I'm going to put the cloud flat here. I'm going to put the hook core right here. I'm going to put this guy right here. And then we're going to get a cross man onto this defender. And then these are underneath like little hard flat zones. 
I got a little vert hook here, seven three. User has to take that, does, and that's pretty good defense. Again, that was basic DB fire two. We just turned it into a, a basically a double Mabel coverage, and we used the safeties as um, like hook curl defenders almost. Okay, here uh, Kobo's going to do some bubblegum stuff, go to bunch tight end, low uh, motion over. And really, it's the same defense. Again, these are zone dropped probably to 20 yards. This is a five-yard purple. This guy's zone dropped here. You get a man up of the tight end. And so we don't do any flat defender. We just have a man up here. And then we have these two vert hooks. And we have a cross man, which appears to be cross man on the square. Kind of interesting defense. Hits the cross screen and almost scores on it. It's kind of a cool play from Kobo, not going to lie. You wouldn't expect something like that. So it's kind of a little under, uh, just underutilized play and got him some really good, really good yardage. First and goal, ball on the 18, or uh, ball on the seven. And now we are out of dollar and we're into six one. So what we can pretty much expect here is cloud, cloud, yellow, yellow, purple, purple, or pressure. Or potentially cross man, man up, man up, cloud, yellow, and then user is going to kind of be over in here. So a couple different ways he can play this defensively. We'll see what he ends up doing here. We get a motion, and we actually go coverage. So we're sending three. This is a, a vert hook or a bluff blitz. This is a hard flat, a hard flat. This is probably a cloud, a cloud, a yellow. Um, and then we leave in the user in this three rack and we're user in this left side seam area i don't know that i love that decision but we do get the ko and that's gonna bring up bring up a second and goal second and goal from the seven let's see here kobo goes to spread or gun doubles rather could be an rpo the thing about running gun and some of these like like uh, west coast playbook running gun all those they don't have a ton of RPO plays, from what I remember, uh, with the exception of the spread playbook. So, Kobo is going to be a little limited uh, in terms of what he can do from an RPO perspective, I would assume. Here we get um, TJ in the wrong defense. And not sure. I think it's, oh, I think it's because he ends up taking this penalty. I forgot. They, they basically agreed to not having prelits. I don't know if he has to go out of this, out of this game. Uh, no, he just has to take the player out. But basically, they uh, not having prelits. So anyway, that was the the gist of it. No big deal really, uh, as far as how it, I mean it might have affected things. But basically, yeah, it's pretty much the same defense. We get an intentional grounding. Now we're in second and goal. Kobo is going to be timeouts, so he'll probably throw one in the end zone. Throws in the way. And that's going to pretty much do it for the half. So all in all, pretty good defense from TJ um, throughout the first half. And really his strategy is basically just play solid, bimba don't break defense. It's kind of what it seems like. So let's get into the second half. Uh, I think his, he's really going to start caging here in the second half. So uh, what you're going to see is, again, Kobo doing some more motion stuff. Send five, okay. Send five, a little play action. Now from this, look at the look at the pocket collapse here. This is tough to pass consistently. Okay. So we get a man up this time on a motion in. We get a man up here. And then we basically have what appears to be a user underneath, almost like a max protect combo. Yeah, almost like a max protect combo. Anyway, good defense. So just cross manning the middle trips receiver. When he motions in, a lot of times it takes so when when was so okay. So real quick. So when they motion this guy inside, let's say they motion so like right here. At this point, this streak route is no longer a threat. So we don't have to worry about that. So now it allows us to man up here, which is the primary threat on the side of the field. So we can man up right here. So you should see, unless he now when he comes all the way across. Now it's a different formation, okay? So now user might be here, and we might man up here. We might man up here. We've got a couple different options. But anyway, what we end up doing, 
is just gonna blitz here, and then it appears like cover two to the left, inside quarter, inside quarter, a little pop uh, hook curl. Yeah, so he's not super crazy adjusting. And uh, when, when, when Kobo runs this motion over stuff, honestly, there's really no, there's really not much of an adjustment. Now, the one other one is he'll bring this guy down because this guy's in a quarter, right? So you see here, quarter, I don't know what this is. What is that zone? I think that's the inside quarter. I just think the match is, is being buggy. But watch here. So when he motions over, which Kobo, and you see Kobo's motion over almost every play. As soon as he motions over, guess what TJ does? He brings this down because this outside quarter will play the corner route and get a good KO a lot of times just because of the way the spacing works. This also typically changes because this guy does not have to be manned up here anymore because of the formation. So now the inside quarter, this is actually really good defense. This inside quarter, or if you wanted to, I would probably turn this into a middle third. Um, there might be reasons why he's not. But I would probably turn this into a middle third because if he runs a streak, this is running right into coverage here. So this is um, this actually is a better defense than I at first thought in terms of how it deals with motion over. Uh, and again, we're sending this uh, sending five a lot here. But watch. So here's your quarter on the right. Watch here. Uh, now we just got a little hook curl. Look, and it really appears like this is an inside quarter. This is a half, and then this is probably a cloud um, in this situation. So all he really has is right over here. I don't even know why he has users over there. I would just sit right here. Uh, this throw is going to get KO'd against mid zone KO. And I could be wrong, but that's, that's how I would have played it. Because, I mean, if you think about it practically, when, when Kobo gets out, so now we're going to, and see, when you get Kobo going to stuff like this, like, you get Kobo out of trips, you know you're playing good D. Third quarter. Not sure what this is. Looks like a middle third, which I don't know why you'd run that. This is a man up here. Yeah, kind of some crazy adjustments right here, but basically we're sending five. And, I mean, he just, it's interesting. Interesting defense because basically TJ has given up the underneath, and he's sending a lot of pressure and forcing you to have to throw the ball to the flat. That, that's kind of like if once Kobo gets out of his mainstay trips, that's basically what's going on. Now watch, motion, watch. This guy should come down. Yeah, he's trying to get him to come down. He's uh, bugging out. His, his plays are bugging out. But yeah, here we go. Get this guy down. Now he's all out. now he's all jacked up. And Kobo ends up quick hiking. It's almost like TJ was very uncomfortable running the defense, but the, the concept was very good. Um, I don't know what this is. What is that? Is that a man up? That's got to be a man up. So here we get an outside third. We get a man up, which is pretty much what he's been doing. This guy, uh, basically a little spire three rack. User right here. Man up over here on the back side. And it's almost like, like I said, if TJ's user, I feel like TJ's user is really not very good in this game uh, compared to what we see again in other, other um, clips and film we have on TJ. And I don't know why for sure. Um, I think it's maybe just uncomfortable playing trips, but because really nobody runs trips this year except Kobo, a couple people, but really not very many. Anyway, here we stay in trips, so we got quarter, 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 little curl flat. It's our basic coverage here. Now we have a man up and a third on this left side, so the user has to take this. And again, or it looks like this guy was man up on the running back. Sorry, yeah, it looks like he was on the man, on the running back there. Mm. I mean, you see, I mean, this is, and it's actually a phenomenal pocket. We're seeing phenomenal pocket and patience from Kobo, honestly. Because this is very uncomfortable to play this. Okay, so we get a little flat. I love this combo, but it's basically a five out. We're trying to hit here, here, here. We have this post, which we can hit in here. And then we have this... Um, basically backside in route so defensively we're going boom 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 and again we're in our standard concept quarter quarter man up now on <coughs> excuse me um on the left side it's kind of been a just a, a change up but basically a third and a man up on the tight end 
And, yeah, I mean, it's just mm, – you're starting to see – Kobo's starting to kind of like nickel and dime him a little bit too. A uh, little nickel and dime uh, football from Kobo. And, uh, but, but, again, in TJ, I think his main strategy here is we're going to contain him to the goal line and make him have to score. So, And here's probably the main reason he was in running gun, so he could run this little journal speed option, I would assume. Here he's going to go to Trey open. Don't see a lot of Trey open. Uh, this is actually not a bad play. Got a little ghost. Love this play. Um, yeah, not really there. So third and goal. Trip side in. Got to have it down. Kobo needs seven. Really needs seven, honestly, here. My opinion. Uh, third and goal. Goes this little motion fade. Not there. Scrambles there. And he's going to get in for two. So... TJ thought maybe a fumble there, but it um, uh, didn't work out for him. So good drive by Kobo. Kind of figured some things out on that drive. But now we're kind of getting into clutch time. So uh, now this is where it gets interesting. Okay, so TJ throws a pick six, I think, on this. Does he throw a pick six here? Throw something. Let me see. It's got to be right here. Oh, yeah, D-line pick six. Okay, so Kobo gets a pick six. So now TJ's down two possessions. So he not only needs to score, but he needs a stop. So he is able to go down and actually scores pretty quickly. And this is where he plays his absolute best defense in the best moment of this game. So goes for an onside. Kobo gets it done. At this point, it's like you feel like Kobo's really got the game, right? But again, TJ's playing really good defense on trips. So you see here... Again, we motion this guy in. What are we doing? We're bringing this guy down, and he's going in a quarter, or he's already in one. But, but again, the purpose of this is – the main purpose of this is so we can play that corner out with that KO. So what that does is it says basically everything over here is dead with a quarter and a purple and maybe a man up, right? Or maybe a quarter, quarter, and a purple. This, this coverage right here – Everything over here is dead, okay? So now we turn all of our attention, really, to these two players, okay? So again, motion over press. He snaps, happens to be this same side stuff, which is fine. Uh, we're sending five out of fire. And what are we, what's Kobo trying to do? Streak, corner, drag. So we don't have that purple over there. And, and then over here we just have um, our basic cover two. So you see, user's going to go here, and then at the last second, he should dive down to X. He does. Pressure gets there, and it forces a throw away. Really nice defense from TJ there. And uh, I, I just feel like if you look at this corner route, it's really not able to I – mean, it, it can definitely beat this defense, but it's not easy. And uh, it's a tough throw, and it's under pressure. And that's what, what TJ's been doing all game. He's been making it hard on uh, – on Kobo. So we get a little motion in here. Again, bring this guy down. Now this time, we don't send anybody. Okay, we only send three. So let's look at this coverage. So we get our purple. This is a quarter. This looks like a quarter. This looks like a third. I don't know what this is over here. I would assume this should be a third, but I think it's a cloud. I think this is a hard flat, and this is a cloud flat, and then we have a little vert hook. So there's a lot open here. The running back will get open in this little pocket. It's a tough throw because of this guy, but he will get open. But let's see how this uh, – so we lurk here. So we're going to take this away. We have this guy running himself into coverage, so that's fine. So here we're basically good. And then, yeah, this must have been a third because he carries this a little bit better. I don't know what this zone is. This is a quarter. It's a quarter. It's got to be. So he basically – Actually, you know what? I think what he does, now that I look at this a little closer, he essentially either creates or audibles into cover four drop. It might be a clean audible into cover four drop a lot of times because, I don't know, you'd have to ask him. But right here, this is basically cover four drop. I mean, right here specifically, this is 100% cover four drop. He has to scramble upfield, brings up a third down and four situation. And we'll see what he does here. So, again, we should see. And you're seeing a ton of this. Like, I think every play, pretty much the second half, we've got this motion over. What that does is the main way TJ wants to play this 
you can't really do that with those quarters. So you should see this press. I don't know why we're not pressing here. Interesting. This has got to be a cloud flat on the left. No. Oh, that's not cool. Oh, Kobo couldn't hike the ball. All right. So same situation, third and four, we get the back off. Okay, so now TJ getting a little aggressive, kind of has to for the situation, but we get DB fire two, hard flat to the flat, probably a shaded down vert hook. Users right here, hard flat here, half probably, maybe, maybe a man up on the tight end. Doesn't look like it. And Kobo, hmm, hmm. Should have probably been a pick. And, and you know, Kobo may know that they don't, you know, maybe they don't pick that or whatever. But here we go, fourth and two. Got to have it down. Now, um, Kobo ends up sending the running back out wide here. And I think we got a timeout, I want to say, from TJ, uh, which is a really, really critical timeout. If he does not get this stop, this is really bad uh, timeout call if he does not get the stop. So same strategy from Kobo. We get a motion out. So what does that mean for us on this side? That means quarter, quarter, man up, purple. That concept is now everything to the right should be dead with that adjustment sequence. Now what's likely is we probably are sending five here. And if we're sending five here, we're still going to get that quarter. We're still going to get the quarter here, which is going to be matching three, matching one. This guy is going to be manned up. So we'll see what happens. And actually, he bails out of this. He only sends two people. Oh, I'm not sure I like that. I'm not sure I like that we're only sending two people on fourth and two. But quarter, man up, quarter, purple. The bluff blitz is primarily to take away that snap read. Here on the left side, we get kind of an interesting coverage. We basically get hard flat, we get cloud flat, and we get deep half. Mm, yeah, I don't love that. I don't love that defense. I don't love that defense at all from TJ there. I just feel like situationally you can't send two people in Madden 24 and a fourth down and two and not have a spy. I guess he was thinking I could send this. He does. Looks like he sends him. And, I mean, he's probably frustrated thinking Kobo might have fumbled that. But I feel like he's been – I don't know. I just kind of surprised he, he called that play. Called that defense. Halfback zone. Nice run. Or a terrible run. Didn't work. Second and 12. All right. Koa's going to have to pass ultimately for a first down. You're getting the same thing. Quarter, quarter. Blitz, blitz, blitz. The other thing that's interesting is now at this point in the game, it might have been all game. I don't think it was. But these guys are spread out. So this is going to make this blitz harder to pick up the running back just has a hard time picking this up um couple ends up passing the ball it's really nothing we haven't seen this guy's on him this is an inside quarter this looks like a a man up on the tight end with a third and then this guy's in a little hook curl underneath i think this guy was actually manned up to the running back and he became a, a spy but i mean yeah, I don't know. I mean, there was... <laughs> yeah, that was a weird play. That was just a weird play in general. So when he motions over... Again, I don't understand the... I just don't understand these adjustments sometimes. Is this a vert hook? Is it a vert hook? What is that? Maybe that is a spy. Maybe he just spied him. I don't know what that is. Might have been a cross man on the running back, but... I mean, there's a lot open here. But, again, why is Kobo putting so much in the middle? I don't know. Because these little these little pockets have been open all game. So it's almost like a bad play from Kobo right there. Bad uh, play selection. Third and ten. Send four. All right. Kobo stays in trip. So quarter. Man up. Quarter. Little vert hook or a little purple. And then on this back side here, looks like quarter. I'm um, not sure what this is. Is this a third? This is a quarter, too. Yeah, I don't know why we're quartering. I don't know why he's doing that. I don't know what the purpose of this is. 
Because you have this here, I guess, to take away the Titan Seam Streak. I don't know. But now, user has to come back here in this situation. There's no pull route. So that's open. Um, but, quick shed, sack, fourth down, and gets the stop. So, um, basically, TJ kind of, in a roundabout way, got three or four stops that, that game. I thought it would be a good study uh, for us to see what he was doing to get stops defensively. I felt like his defense was really the best and really the reason he won this game. So I wanted to break that down for you guys. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to learn how I run the dollar defense or how I run trips or how I run any of this stuff, um, everything is in the Patreon. You can sign up for the Patreon in the description down below.